Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. It's me again, Ragon Vapor, and today I'll be doing a review on my personal PV, the Phantom Mod from Team Hellcat. Okay, to start with, um, if not mistaken, the uh, the Phantom Mod basically is made out of uh, 304 stainless steel, and that means it's high quality and um, it's rock solid. Okay, it's a four piece telescopic full mechanical mod that can accommodate batteries from 18650 to 18350. Okay, so. Um, Let's start the review. All right, and it also has copper pins, by the way, giving it raw power. All right, so let's start with the uh, top cap. As you can see, the top part or the top cap has a mirror finish. It's uh, shiny, and it has two seam lines running around, or thick seam lines running around the uh, top part, okay? It has a curvy, semi-curved edge, okay, or top part. So it's gonna, it's gonna look good on your Era or your Hornet or any small size atomizer. And um, it has the usual 510 threading. Um, like I've said, copper pins. So it has a copper positive pin, self-adjusting or a floating positive pin. And um, it has a high high temperature Delrin, if I'm not mistaken, Delrin insulator. Okay, so that's the uh, top part of the Phantom. Next, we go to the upper telescopic sleeve, okay? So, uh, the upper telescopic sleeve has a polished finish, okay, polished finish. And it has uh, two vent holes, one on each side, okay? And I believe the size is uh, two millimeter, all right? If you'll notice, or uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it has fine seam lines running around the, uh, many fine seam lines running around the uh, telescopic sleeve or the tube okay so uh, you 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 can't see it it's almost uh, invisible or it's almost not visible to the naked eye but if you look closely it has very fine seam lines making it or giving it an elegant look okay next the uh, lower telescopic sleeve um, same as the upper telescopic sleeve it has very fine seam lines running around the, uh, the, the sleeve okay again giving it an elegant look all right, and the last part is the firing mechanism. Okay, so it looks the same as the top part. It has two uh, thick seam lines running around the uh, firing mechanism. It has a mirror finish and uh, two uh, vent holes, one on each side. I believe the size is uh, 1.5 millimeter. Okay, it has copper contacts or copper negative uh, pin and um, a brass firing button with a serial number on it okay and the uh, the insulator surrounding the copper negative pin is a Delrin plastic okay the uh, spring that came with this is a stock or normal spring but mine is modded already I am using a DIY copper spring so basically you can disassemble the uh, firing mechanism by pushing the uh, the negative pin and turning the uh, firing button counterclockwise all right so let's uh, assemble my uh, phantom okay and let's see the the power or how let's see how powerful the phantom can be um, you know what's good about the uh, the phantom is that it has raw power okay it can go at par with the famous aluminum mods or aluminum pinoy mods out there all right and the best part is it's cheap the, the SRP ranges from 2,000 to 2,500 pesos for a Pinoy mod that is very cheap okay same power um, much cheaper so why not go for it okay um, the threading is uh, pretty decent some say that or some advice or some say that they put Vaseline or oil on the threading so so just to eliminate the uh, squeaking sound while you uh, turn it okay but I don't mine at all okay doesn't bother me so um, I'm almost done assembling my phantom okay for this review I'll be using my China era since I don't know I like this atomizer it's cheap and it performs really well and it looks good on my uh, on my phantom okay since a small since it's a small type atomizer all right, so let's check this out.
For this review, I'll be using my favorite juice, new favorite juice, which is the Venom from uh, Bamskilicious. Okay. Again, the SRP of the Phantom is uh, or ranges from 2,000 to 2,500 pesos, and I believe that they'll there there are upgrades coming out pretty soon. Um, I'll be posting the uh, Phantom page or Phantom support page on the description and also I'll be posting the shop where I got this on the description. By the way, I got this from Vapor Zone. I'd like to uh, thank Vapor Zone for this mod. Okay. Um, upgrades coming out. Um, I believe they'll be releasing a uh, flat top cap. So it's going to look so it will look good on uh, your Genesis type atomizers or big atomizers like the Nimbus or uh, what else the, the the forge not the forge um, the trident that is and other uh, big atomizers in market okay and also silver pins will be coming out for uh, the phantom okay so let's, again let's check this out juice splattering all over the place okay all right, so let's do a couple of vapes and see uh, how powerful the fandom is. There you have it, raw power, like I've said earlier. So uh, for a, a, a Pinoy mod that is very cheap, price ranges from 2,000 to 2,500 pesos, okay? So if you don't have you know enough money to get the, the more expensive Pinoy mods, why not go for the Phantom, okay? It's uh, practical, it's affordable, it's Pinoy made, and it's powerful, okay? And it's rock solid since it's made out of stainless steel. Alright, so um, this has been Oragon Vapor. Until my next review, don't forget, vapors out there, don't vape where you can't smoke, vape responsibly, and vape on.